everybody and welcome to my channel if you're new hi my name is pamela manana and i hope you stay and if you're a returning subscriber welcome back i hope you were a friend and i hope you enjoy this video today we have special guest <laughs> are you excited to be here yeah well, yes <laughs> i'm excited <laughs> <laughs> okay i'm gonna let her introduce herself you can introduce yourself mom my name is um Kuku Manana. I'm Pamela's mom. Here we are. This is my mom, guys. She's been my mom for 22 years. <laughs> She's been my mom for 22 years. And um yeah, this is my ride or die, my best friend, my everything. Please, please, I am so sorry for the noise. We could not film inside because it's too dark. It's very dark inside. There's no light rooms in the house and we chose a bad time because all the kids are outside they're playing i'm at home currently by the way so um yeah this is my mother and this video basically is just a video where you guys can get to know who raised me who gave birth to me the reason behind the girl you see right in front of you today okay um i went on instagram and i asked you guys to send us some questions just for you guys to get to know my mother better and our relationship and everything my mom and i are very very close and she is basically my best best friend so um you guys send questions through and thank you so much for that we have 10 right in front of us um i'm gonna read them out and i'm gonna give her a chance to answer them some questions are for the both of us some questions are for her alone and all of that jazz are you ready mother Jones? yes i'm ready <laughs> are you nervous no i'm not <laughs> <laughs> I'm not nervous at all. Okay, um, you can speak a bit louder now. Yeah. All right. Okay, the first question is How does it feel like raising a daughter who's a superstar? <laughs> uh, I'm really blessed to have a daughter <laughs> like her. Um, before her, I had two boys, and then I was just praying to God to give me a girl, and He gave me exactly what I want. No, oh, that's so sweet, ma. Yeah, so she's my daughter and i love her so much she's my friend she's my confidante she's everything to me oh thank you no yeah. that is so sweet okay <laughs> the second question i'm reading from my laptop by the way uh the second question is how is your relationship i think this is for the both of us how is your relationship and has it always been easy i'll answer first and then you can give me your answer yes. our relationship has always been um what can i say like me and my mom are really the same person like so there was a period of time where it was a bit difficult in high school our own life but that's just adolescence like being a teenager and you know all that kind of stuff but like i won't i won't say it was hard i thought i don't think it was hard i just think it was challenging at times when i felt misunderstood and i'm very i'm in the i'm exactly like my mom but simultaneously i'm the exact opposite of my mom so i think that makes it a bit difficult like but to say that it's been hard i would be lying it's been challenging but definitely not hard and i'm really i really love the relationship we have it's so great what do you think um it's been a journey i can't lie mm. yeah but uh, my daughter is that kind of a person who's uh, fine there were, there were challenges when she was a teenager but not the challenges that she you know of, of maybe going out and sleeping out and whatever whatever yeah. she never did that <clears throat> she she was like any other teenager that she's uh, has an opinion of something she d does this and that but basically it was fine yeah i can't say she she never went anywhere she never partied she never disrespected me she was just a fine girl we've been friends yeah. since we've been friends we, we've told each other everything there's no secret between us i know everything i know everyone she she, she became friends with mm -hmm. yeah so it was like that there were, there were no secrets <laughs> we've just had an open relationship the third question is how would you take it if pam wanted a fat and sit <laughs> i would kill him <laughs> And that is not even a lie, guys. Like, I would kill my mom her is because, against nonsense. Like. Because you know, I know uh, 
where that ends mm. so i really don't want that i really never told her to do that uh, i really don't like that at all yeah for anyone for any girl i don't like that because i know where it ends so i wouldn't like that for my daughter yeah i want her to get married i would like her to get married and do everything when he is, she is married so yeah i agree i've told her that and she's doing just that <laughs> all right um the fourth question is what did pam get from her dad condolences by the way thank you so much um so what did like what do i have that did that i got from daddy um for those who don't know who haven't who, don't, who might not know my father passed away last year in um july so yeah it's it's still a fresh wound but um we're okay we're doing fine and um, my father and my mom were married that was her husband love of her life her bestie her right or die <laughs> so what what is what is what do i get from them um her personality mm. is exactly like his dad um her hands and feet <laughs> that is <laughs> true. exactly like the dad and um sense of humor they both have the best sense of humor we're always laughing when they're around us so we always always miss them when they're not around <laughs> yeah they always make you laugh <laughs> amela is the kind of a person that even a bad bad situation she makes it a joke and we end up laughing so don't feel that maybe we need anything maybe we're hungry maybe we're eating not so good food you'll make a joke out of it and it will be to end up being okay so she's that kind of a person. So we always miss her when she's not here. Oh, so sweet, mother <laughs> way. <laughs> okay. Um, and then the next one is for me. Would your mom know? Would your mom know if you're a virgin or not? Yes, she would know, guys. Like me and my mom, guys, when I was 14 years old, I made a vow to myself because I was just, just in grade eight. I just entered high school. I made a vow to myself that I need to tell my mom everything. I don't want my mom to hear about my name in the streets. I don't want my mom to hear about scary things that I did or I've done or I'm doing. Like I get, I, I take everything through her and then she can, so that, so that like, let's say for instance, somebody comes up to my mom and says, Pamela is selling her body or whatever. Because she knows everything. And if I'm how will she be able to even defend me if I keep secrets from her? She can't confirm, she can't deny anything. You understand? So. When I was 14 years old, I just entered high school. I was just like, you know what, from now on, even if it's about a boy, even if I like a boy, even if I have a crush on someone, everything. And she asks me, and my mom was not like, my mom understood my privacy from a very early age. Because this is one time when she read my diary and I was, I think I was in grade four or five. And then from that day, she also vowed to herself that she's going to respect my privacy moving forward on the premise that I tell her everything. And then now she's going to respect my privacy. If it's something that I'm not ready to tell her, I'm at that point, but eventually I'm going to And all of that, vice versa. So I felt that has been the biggest, like, the biggest blessing in our relationship. Like, fine, I understand that it's a bit weird for people nowadays, but see, why are you acting like a baby or stuff like that but you have to realize that i'm her only daughter you understand so everything that i had to go through i had to take advice from her because she knows in Lela, you know she went through everything first before me my mom has made mistakes in her past as well and she just doesn't want me to repeat them as well so and then my mom always says good see she didn't have Mundlutom Chela, right or wrong a lot of the things that like happened in her life she had to figure out herself you understand like my mom was pregnant very young, you know. She she had to see Mshaba like get funny at a very young age. And so she vowed when she got a daughter that she was going to be like a friend to her daughter. And that's why I am the way that I am. Like my mom is cool guys. You can tell my mom anything. She will tell you when she's disappointed. And there's there's things I've, I've definitely done that have disappointed her, definitely. But I'd rather add than me hiding and acting like a different person and stuff. And my mom knows if she asks me something, don't tell her yes, no, maybe, whatever. Me and my brother were raised the same. Like, my mom asked us in Bogani, and that's that. Asked her, I'm like, we don't lie. Like, she, and she knows the answer that she's going to get is the correct answer, no matter what. So, yes, my mom would definitely know if I was a virgin or not. Like, I tell her everything. It might sound weird, but like, I'd rather she knows than not know. 
um so yeah the next question is do you want to say anything no <laughs> okay <laughs> um the next question is what's something you would another that's a good one you can start with that one what would you like to change about me now you can tell them that i'm crazy hmm? <laughs> you can tell them you can tell them all my my flaws it's fine yeah no there's, there isn't much i can change i like i like almost everything but but we are human she's also human there are things that i don't like about her but we talk about them and yeah. we come to to a nangzana we, we, we came to an, a nangzana agreement that you know we won't uh sulk or have grudges or something so we talk about everything we talk it out no matter how painful it is maybe i've said something that she doesn't that is too painful for her she always sits me down and tells me this i didn't like this and this and i apologize and carry on so what yeah. would you change so, about me well that's one thing that you wish that i could ch you would change about me like one flaw that i have that you'd be like i have to fix it like like being selfish <laughs> like um not wanting uh, anyone to touch her things and yet he touches people's things <laughs> so that i would like to change because really i i even told her that you are going to be married one day stay with someone that someone will be in your space all the time yeah. and he will touch your things really so what are you going to do i know i raised you really like a boy and again really you had separate rooms separate things but then we have to share everything yeah. we have to learn to share learn to to let if, if someone touch your things i know there are things that will are gaily gay but then you have to just let people touch your things because that we we fought about that for a long time yeah, yeah we fought about that for a long time that he doesn't want his head things to be touched but he touches my things and <laughs> but me i understand as a mother so yeah the, the laziness yeah. I know that, that uh, I'm failing to change, <laughs> but I'm telling her, I'm really telling her what is going to happen when she does that, because someone is going to come and do the things that you are not doing and you'll be so, so hurt. So you have to stop being lazy because nothing is so hard anyway. I always tell her nothing is so hard. You just tell yourself, I'm going to wash this pot, I'm going to clean this house, I'm going to do that. And that's all. And when you do it, it's just smooth sailing. Sometimes it becomes unfair when Pamela has to just sit on the laptop and pretend he's doing school things <laughs> and has to. <laughs> but and I don't do that. Yeah, has to watch dishes at two o'clock in the morning because she's been busy with her phone. And yeah, that I, I, I'd like to change that. <coughs> <laughs> I'd like to change that. But you know, I'm glad that she, she's eventually she'll just go. She'll, yeah. She'll go and stay. Yeah. All and right. have her own family. And it's gonna be better, I think. And it's gonna be better because I'm teaching her. I talk about that, even if I tell her a hundred times, but I know because one day she's gonna remember what I told her. Guys, I'm not as lazy as it sounds. I'm really better. Like there was a time where it was bad. Now I'm better. It's just that like old habits really die young. Like, but I'm not as bad as you. It sounds. <laughs> one thing I would change about my mom. Oh, guys, I'm sorry about the noise, man. I hope you guys can hear me still. One thing I would change about my mom would be her sensitivity. My mom is not sensitive. And I was telling her last night, like, my mom is not sensitive. And she gave birth to two extremely sensitive children. Me and my brother are very sensitive. Like, Sia Limala were easily affected, especially emotionally. Physically, I don't know. But, like, emotionally, like, you um, a fact about my family is that both me and my brother have suffered from depression before and his is like clinical like he went to a thingy he's he's been to like multiple psychologists he was under antidepressants for two years and stuff like that and that was like a big challenge for us in the family like because there's a person who's just like sick and it's not it's not a sickness that you can just give him a tablet or two or you can just pray about it's like a long-term thing you know understand that but i love the way my mom approached that because she immersed herself in educating herself about mental health like guys my mom my mom is a big communicator my mom is a big support system there's nothing you can't tell my mom my, my brother can even attest like he's a boy child but my mom is his um 
refuge like his safe haven because that's just the parent that she really is like to, to the core but at the same time my mom didn't grow up like us like there wasn't depression when my mom was growing up or there was and there wasn't a name for it ukule mm -hmm. like matima and stuff like that so it was it's really hard for her like sometimes the mom just my mom tells you things cash like she doesn't sugarcoat anything if you're fat she's like you're fat if you're ugly she says hey umubi like she doesn't say oh bugegi nah i got telling you like she doesn't buy face my mom is strict and i'm a big sugar coater i'm very polite like i'm euphematic like i don't i don't believe in hurting people's feelings so, so imagine having a mom like that and when i'm <laughs> feeling like it's very that was one of the challenges we had like in our relationship I, she wasn't understanding but i think not knowing that really does hurt me unfortunately even though it's a fact maybe i'm gaining weight or whatever but but until i cash and the only matter so i would change that sensitivity but at the same time maybe it's helping me it's refining me as well it's making me it's 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 preparing me for the world because not everyone's gonna care about your feelings and your heart you must just be able to take things like let, let it go over your back you take what you take you leave what you leave because everyone has an opinion even if you're not a celebrity people just you can't take every much strap like you can't put everything in between so yeah that's the only thing that i would change but other than that my mom is the best mom on the earth she's just not sensitive <laughs> she doesn't she doesn't sugarcoat anything okay the next question is um how does mommy feel how does mommy feel about you being so far from home especially after losing her life partner so after losing dad like how do you feel about me being like at school in a different province and stuff yeah we do miss her a lot but then we know that <coughs> he needs to get educa get edu education. Mm -hmm. So so that is what is keeping us going. That he has to get education, no matter how much we miss her sometimes. But we we know that we we, we do communicate. We, we call each other every day, we even video call and see each other's faces. So that's the best that we can do. But we do miss her a lot. Well, especially because the brother is very quiet so she's the one who makes us laugh who comes between even when we, the, we have fights with the brother he's the peacemaker but then i told myself that even the brother has to learn to be strong so he has to learn to talk to me and do all that so he, he is changing a little bit he is getting fine now though Vele is like that Vele is quiet so we do miss pamela a lot it's, it's so hard for my mom guys like i'll i'll come here for like winter break like recess so i'll be here for a month and then the last day that i'm here she's like you just got here yeah of <laughs> uh, course. uh it's really like my mom is my I'm, I'm my mom's best friend like and vice versa yeah. so like <clears throat> she likes my mom likes to talk guys my mom guys <laughs> like so like and i'm a person who can humor that because i also like to talk and there's nothing we never run out of topics like it even bores my brother like me and her are like sisters yes. you know so i understand like that void is very hard like when i'm not around because talking on the phone is not the same as waking up next to a person you understand and i still sleep in my mother's bed <laughs> so we talk throughout the night we talk every day so i understand how that can can make her feel but um you must remember my, my dad wasn't living with us so it's not as if like um a drastic change in the house per se he was also somebody that we would only just call and see him like maybe once or twice a year so um yeah it's not that much of a void that he left yes. like in terms of like someone who was living in the house because he was living in a different province as well but um the next question is what's the naughtiest thing pam has ever done that is so funny because i'm not naughty <laughs> What's the nicest thing I've ever done? Hmm. I can't remember anything. Because Pamela is not a naughty person. There has to be something. Remember when you hit me? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I used to hit them a lot. The dead never lifted a finger. Yeah, I was the one who was doesn't... hitting them. 
so this one time I wanted Pamela to tell me something from the house because I left her in the house because I don't like uh, you know kids who just go around go and sit in the streets and everything I just pride myself that my children are just they just sit in the house and um, I also do that we don't have friends we don't have a lot of visitors for, for some reason Pamela when she was still in primary school she had friends she would go out I remember this one time I wanted something from the house I wanted her to tell me something because I wanted to go to to Nell's Braid to do something so that there was something he needed to tell me from my bedroom so I was calling and calling and calling the whole day and eventually I went home to fetch the thing because well, I couldn't reach her so when I came to the house there was Pamela with her friend and the mother's friend <laughs> with the car and the bed was not made up it was two o'clock <laughs> In the afternoon, the bed was not made, so I was so angry. So I just took what I wanted, the dishes in the sink, everything was no, just was upside bad. down. I just took what I, I needed, and then I went to the When I, I get back, I'm going to deal with the child. <laughs> yeah, Pamela is not a person who, who likes beating. That's why Vela is never on the wrong. Vela is always not on the wrong. So Vela was so angry, I beat her up, and I, Vela, I, I, I could see Vela, I, I, I overdid it. Because the next day, really, she was so sick. She was she had a fever. Fever, really. And so I think that was the last time I did that. I beat her up. <laughs> that was the last time because I could see, you see, this girl is not used to it. She's not naughty, naughty girl. She's not. It's just that one time. It's just you no, know, no friends. Yeah. yeah not even. Just, I think it wasn't friends. I think being person was so like. Yeah. I yeah, wasn't. Yeah. How do you leave? But a but bed, but like, after that, time. but after that, she understood that you know she's. We don't like really friends and stuff like that. So she stopped. So we got back to our staying in the house and everything until today. We even changed um, neighborhoods and it yeah. became better. Yeah. Like I, um, you'll never find me outside now, yeah. like ever. Yeah. But yeah, she beat guys. She beat, beat me. Ha! <laughs> like my mom is Zulu, guys. Mm. You so you can imagine. Like and my mom, she is like. No one can bully my mom, guys. Like, my mom is a. <laughs> my mom is a puma siri machine. Yeah. yeah, that's how I grew up. That's how she grew up. Like, yeah. she's the exact opposite of me. I don't know how to fight. Like, it's not my my thing. Um, the second last question is, how do you feel, or what do you feel? I think they made a mistake. What do you feel or how do you feel about Pam's boyfriend? Mam yum. I love that boy. <laughs> I love him with all my heart. Oh, you know, you know, so you know he's he, he's like my son. I can yeah. talk to him anytime. I can ask him anything. Even when Pamela's dead passed away, I, 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 she she was the he was the first one to know because he and I he had to tell Pamela because I couldn't tell Pamela through the phone. So I phoned him to ask him to sit him down, sit her down, and tell her. So she's practically my son. I love her to bits. I love him to bits. I, I just love that boy. Yeah, I love that boy. You know, I I, I think he was he was just a godsend. Yeah. Him. Yeah. I love that boy. I love him so much. He knows that I love him too. My mom treats Tino you know, like her child. Like yeah. when he's we're like wrong, my son. yeah. When we're yeah. wrong, when like, he's wrong, I tell him. He when, he, when, he, when, he, when they they quarrel, <coughs> I don't take sides. Yeah. I tell this one which we are wrong, and I tell this one which we are wrong. So they know. Well, I pray for them every day. I pray, pray for them more than I pray for myself. I just love this relationship. I love him. Well, I pray to God that you know we're really blessed about never that. Change. Like, I'm so blessed. Well, yeah. That boy blesses us so much. He really does, guys. Yeah. Tino is like an anchor, like, yeah. and it's like yeah. he he knows his role. Yeah. I'm telling you, Vele, you won't even believe what he has done for us. Yeah. So Vele is just a godsend. Oh. Yeah. Okay. The last question <laughs> is: What are you most proud of that Pam has achieved? What? are you most proud about that Pam has achieved? Everything. Period. I'm telling you, Pamela was such a, 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 
He was different from preschool. He was different. He had friends. They everyone admired him from preschool, primary school. He had friends who admired. He's so lucky, Vele. Vele. He was born like that. Vele. He was born Vele a leader. So he's always a leader everywhere. Wherever he goes, he's a leader. Wherever he goes, he's a leader. Vele is what God gave her. I always complain sometimes. Pamela took everything from my other kid. Shame, my poor kid. Yeah, Vele is a is a leader. Vele is a born leader. Wherever, whatever it touches, Vele it turns to gold. Vele, I'm so blessed. It's what God gave her. A lot of people know that. Vele. No, to a point that Pamela doesn't want that anymore. He doesn't want us to. You see, he doesn't want to us to, to think Vele is a. A story, Vele. He doesn't want because sometimes he, he, he wants us to leave room for her to make mistakes, also like everyone else. So Vele. I'm so blessed, Vele. I'm so blessed, Vele, with this daughter gave me. God gave me this daughter, Vele. I asked for this daughter and he gave me exactly what I wanted. So, my mom I am bought, so, so blessed. My mom bought girls clothes before she knew that she had yeah, the baby. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's so yeah, funny. So, I love my baby. She will always, she will always be my baby. Tumbu on uh, period. Hashtag yes, Tumbu vibes. She will always, always be my baby. <laughs> yeah all right guys we have come to the end of the video thank you so much for watching you finally met my mother okay um please don't forget to like comment and subscribe um hopefully next time i come home you guys can meet my brother as well and we can play a little game between us three i really really love that please comment down below if you'd like that comment down below what your favorite part of this video was as well and don't forget to share the link share the link to the video please um but there it's been great thank you so much for joining us motherly jones snow google and a clutter nene. Nene. period okay that's my mom <laughs> yeah. um uh, and i can't wait to see you guys in my next video